The USAID Feed the Future Soybean Innovation Lab, in collaboration with the Savannah Agricultural Research Institute, SARI, hosted the fifth annual soybean kickoff event in Nyangpala, Ghana, on Tuesday, October 22nd. The purpose of the event was to bring together all stakeholders within the soybean industry who share the common goal of advancing the production and utilization of soybean in sub Saharan Africa. Attendees visited three tour stops at the kickoff event. Dr. Nicholas Denwa, Sari soybean breeder, walked participants through different soybean variety plots on trial in Nyangpala, Ghana. SEAL's Pan African Soybean Variety Trial Program fast tracks the introduction and testing of commercial soybean varieties sourced from across Africa, the US, Australia, and Latin America to provide the private sector farmers and processors with access to a broader selection of seed than what is currently available. Participants were asked to select and rate varieties according to their preference. The breeder of the winning variety was announced at the 2019 People's Choice Soybean Variety following the tours. New soybean varieties that have emerged from the Pan-African trials are already under registration and will soon be available to farmers across sub-Saharan Africa. Dr. George Awuni led the second group through the Soybean Innovation Lab's Smart Farm, demonstrating how soybean responds to the application of various agricultural inputs bundles. In the red bundle, only certified seeds were used. In the yellow bundle, certified seeds and inoculum were used. In a green bundle, certified seeds, inoculum, phosphorus fertilizer and lime were used. In all four demonstrations, best management practices were employed including early planting, planting in rows, increasing plant population and timely weeding. Participants were able to see firsthand the yield potential of soybean when adopting a stepwise bundle approach. This kickoff event is important, bringing stakeholders, not only farmers alone, but um, NGOs, the government, practitioners in soybean in, in, in farms, agrochemical uh, dealers, all are brought into uh, uh, the wagon uh, to be able to understand what we are doing and also uh, scale it up to the farm level. This year's kickoff event concluded with a demonstration of a locally produced multi crop thresher developed through a collaboration between the Soybean Innovation Lab and Ghanaian company Saitec. By fostering a local scaled workforce for the fabrication of low cost, locally produced mechanization innovations like the multi crop thresher, the Soybean Innovation Lab is encouraging smallholder farmers to scale up, allowing for increased production and improved grain and seed quality. This um, thresher is able to thresh any kind of grain that is hard in a core, soybean being one of them. So, um, the normal thing or the normal thing that happens with soybean is that when it's harvested and it's dried, women go through a dreadful activity trying to thresh. They beat it and then they have to winnow it just so that um, they will be able to get their grains. However, with this thresher, that dreadful activity that takes them about one month can be reduced considerably. The soybean kickoff event brings together researchers development experts, breeders, seed companies, processors, aggregators, input suppliers and farmers from around the world to see firsthand the potential of soybean to reduce poverty and hunger in sub-Saharan Africa. Together, through partnership and innovation, we continue to make an impact.